It's time for the Pope on Film podcast to dust off an old reoccurring bit from deep within the Pope on Film vault. It's time for another slightly crazy pick in our Crazy Christian Book Club. Yes. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Yeah, it's been quite a while. Um, but I didn't want to do the crazy. I didn't want to do the crazy Christian book club just to do it. You know, I wanted to do it when the time was right and when the perfect book just sort of presented itself, like the ridiculously unbelievable version of love in every Disney movie. I knew that when I found the right crazy Christian book club pick, I knew dip. I would know deep down inside, and I did. The moment I laid my hands on the cover of this crazy Christian book, I knew that it was the one. All right. Now, before we go on, can we talk for a second about Disney movies in love? Sure. Um, Disney has some dangerous movies because love is not easy. Love is not something that just magically appears one day and then you're all happy and you have a happily ever after. Love is hard. It is full of arguments and hate. Yes. Like, if anything, Disney should should do some realistic films like Snow White 2, where Snow White and the uh, Prince Charming are just passively, aggressively arguing about who should do the dishes. <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. A realistic look at love. Anyway. The Crazy Christian Book Club pick this time around comes to us from supposed Dr. Bill Hammond, who I believe brought the dinosaurs back to life. Uh, That's what I was thinking. Yeah, pretty sure that's Bill Hammond. His book is called 70 Reasons for Speaking in Tongues. (laughs) 70. Wow. Way to not skimp on the reasons there, Bill Hammond. You know, normal people would just go, here's 15 reasons for speaking in tongues, or 10. Here's 10 good reasons for speaking in tongues. No, you went for 70 reasons. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Quite impressive. You totally didn't overdo it at all, supposed Dr. Bill Hammond. Now, I, for one, I'm not... I'm not one for speaking in tongues, obviously. I think it's a bunch of goddamn nonsense. But this book, 70 Reasons for Speaking in Tongues, it does make some very interesting points. And in a funny and lighthearted way that, that, you know, it's not only funny, but it really just cuts to the the heart of why you should be speaking in tongues. It's it's a really good book. It's it's better than you'd think. Yeah. It, It intrigued me. Some, he had some very interesting points, and they really intrigued me. For example, I have some of my favorite examples here. In the beginning of Chapter 5, oh, this is really funny. Bill Hammond says, and I quote, <laughs> which I absolutely agree with. Yep. I absolutely agree with that. I've been saying it for a really long time now. Mm-hmm. You have said it before. Yeah, I have. And then, get this, later in Chapter 5, Bill Hammond says, Ho Babakanda Vashanda! Ho Babakanda Vashanda! Which, which is something that I honestly think that we can all agree with. Yes. I think that if you get right down to it, I think that everyone, liberals and conservatives, can agree that Ho Babakanda Vashanda Vashanda! Hallelujah! I, I was a, I was yeah. just saying that to Jeannie just before the show. Yeah. And then finally, and oh, ooh, this. Ooh, this is my favorite part. I, I want to get this tattooed on my lower back because it's so inspiring. Um, Bill Hammond says, quote, um, Are you speaking in tongues, Eleanor? Have you been given the gift? Are you speaking in tongues? It's a miracle, the power of Jesus. The power of Jesus. So anyway, Bill Hammond says at the end of the book, and I think this is really good, quote, natural man does not understand 
<laughs> Lay them down, a smack them, yak them. Mm-hmm. Mambo dog face banana patch. And I think, I think that speaks for itself right there. Yes. You know, I think there's, 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 there's nothing more to say. <laughs> and that is there, it for our newest. There, yeah. there have, there have been studies on speaking in tongues. And yeah, surprise. It's just all meaningless sounds. Yeah. Surprising. They've recorded anyway. them. They've had linguists look at them. They, you know, it, it's just sounds. <laughs> well, and not only do you need someone who speaks in tongues, but you also need uh, a translator. Mm -hmm. So it's not just that you're speaking nonsense, but that also another gift equally as important as speaking in tongues. And I, I, I spent a lot of time in Christian churches, so I know this. So not only is there supposed to be one person who has the gift of speaking other nonsense, but you also need a translator who can hear the other nonsense and translate it into what that person is saying. Yes, with a lot of, thus saith the Lord. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, so, like, wait, yeah, is, wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. It's the Lord talking through that per. If I was the Lord, I would not say, "Thus saith the Lord." Okay, it's just well, to that. Be you fair, know. To be fair, when I'm at work, I'm like, "Hey, you guys, I really need you to shelve this fiction cart because it's really full." So saith the Steve. <laughs> I, I do that a lot at work, so I can understand where the Lord is coming from. <laughs> God, I know how. I sure do know how God feels there, because let me tell you, work. <laughs>